Event Speech Project 5 is our Toastmaster Gary Harris and the title of his speech is CPR. Good evening fellow Toastmasters, yes. Today I'm going to speak about another acronym. Earlier Toastmaster Eileen elaborated on HDB. My topic tonight is CPR. Toastmasters, anyone of you know what the CPR stands for? How many of you here can do CPR? Just like to share a bit on the CPR. For those of us who are not aware what CPR is and perhaps how they should do the CPR. Earlier, Toastmaster Anthony spoke of Julie collapsing. Imagine a person collapses and buckles and has no sign of life. What we could do is something to save that life then do nothing. In Singapore's context, we can always call an ambulance, but the fastest response time an ambulance arrives is 8 to 15 minutes, looking at good traffic conditions. I have 5 to 7 minutes to impart the knowledge to you, that's how a survival of a life is. 5 to 7 minutes, a person needs to be revived to survive. American Heart Association statistics show out of eight persons that collapses, only two is resuscitated or alive because of CPR. So the person collapsed in front of you, first of all, please tap his shoulders and show him, hello, hello, are you okay? to see whether there's any sign of life. If there's no sign of life, then see whether there's any passerby nearby who can come and help you with the aid. Help! Call 995! Get them to call them and then try for an ambulance. While you lay the person on the back to a firm ground. Before you do your CPR, it's always good to see whether the surrounding is safe and you're on flat ground to do a CPR. I need you all to lift up these two fingers, place it on the edge of your rib cage. This is the you have to place your next palm over this part of the chest. This is where you have to do your chest compressions. When you do the chest compression, use your left arm over here and lock the other hand just like this. Elbow straight. So leave it on the chest like this and you do eight counts, something like this. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000. After the compression, you have to give two breaths, mouth to mouth, to the victim. When you do the breaths, you're supposed to clear the airway. To clear the airway, you do a head tilt, chin lift, so the airway is clear. And make sure there's no blockages and no chokages. You blow one time to see whether the chest rises. If you have sealed your mouth in a very good manner, the chest will rise. You blow another time, then you start back your CPR again. The same way. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. 
4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000. Please repeat this cycle at least five times. And you try, you should, if you see sign of life, you can stop and communicate to the person and make sure he's breathing and it's okay. Within eight minutes, when the ambulance arrives, they have an AED. It's a device to give electric shock to revive the life. And they will put him on a breathing apparatus and rush him to a hospital. All of us would save a life. What I've done is just demonstrated a bit of knowledge on CPR. We could go to the Red Cross or Singapore Civil Defence Force website to check how CPR can be done. And you don't have to pay any cost to learn CPR or save a life. Dear Toastmasters, help to save one life. You never know. You would have only seven minutes to save it. Toastmasters,